I want to bring in Senator Ted Cruz, who goes, I mean, it just amazes me that right from the Supreme Court hearing and now we're dealing with the war on information as it relates to big tech. Senator Cruz from the Republic of Texas, it's so good to have you. Thank you for joining us today. Dana, thanks for having me. Great to be with you. Of course. I've, I've been speaking with some of your colleagues as to how we would approach this Section 230 modification. You've spoken out about Facebook and Twitter and their behavior as a publisher over a platform. And, you know, I, admittedly, I've gone back and forth on this, but I understand that, I mean, they are acting as a publisher. They're, they're not acting any differently than a magazine or a television right. station, but yet they... I don't get the immunity that they get. So what has to be changed in order to mo- what what will it take to modify that? Well, Congress could certainly modify Section 230, and I think we should do so to to end the special immunity from liability that big tech gets if they're going to be biased, if they're going to censor, uh, if they're not going to be neutral public fora. That that was the entire basis for. Section 230 was the understanding they'd be neutral. They've abandoned that. And, and, and I have to say, you know, over the last couple of years, it's been getting worse and worse, the pattern of big tech censorship. But in the last 24 hours, it, it, it really crossed a line and, and, and accelerated at a level we've never seen before. Right. Because what, what happened, starting with yesterday, yesterday, the New York Post uh, wrote a story uh, marshalling evidence of corruption of Joe Biden and his son and Ukraine. And Twitter and Facebook both decided to to ban that story, to prohibit if you try to post that story right now on Twitter, you'll be blocked. Right. You're not allowed to oh, post it. Oh, I had it. my account locked. I linked to I linked to Substack, which was talking about the story. If you even share a screen cap, you're locked down apparently. It, it and, and and they blocked the New York Post itself. And then today uh, the, the, the Twitter doubled down. There was a second story in the New York Post uh, about mm-hmm. China and, and, again, the Biden fa- family and allegations of corruption and millions of dollars paid to the China, uh, paid by the Chinese communists to the Bidens. And once again, Twitter, I, I tried to tweet that story from the, the hearing, and it's blocked. They won't allow you to do so. And, and I'm not aware – a big tech before ever blocking a major media publisher. I mean, look, the New York Post has the fourth largest distribution of any newspaper in America, and Twitter is just deciding unilaterally that, that we're going to silence the press because we think it harms Joe Biden, and that, that's an incredible abuse of power. What do you say to those, Senator, and we're speaking with Senator Ted Cruz here, whose brand-new book, by the way, One Vote Away, How a Single Supreme Court Seat Can Change History, and congrats on the bestseller status of your book, by the way, uh, which is out now. Thank you can you. get it at Amazon and everywhere else. Uh, how, in, 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 how, what do you say to those individuals who, and I, when all of this started, admittedly, I, this is immediately where I started, and I have evolved in my uh, exploration of this topic. But what do you say to those who are who say, well, these are private companies and the government can't regulate private companies? Well, magazines are also private companies, but yet they don't they have they don't have that immunity. How do you respond to those people? So, look, these are hard problems. How to solve it is a challenging public policy problem. Nobody in their right mind wants to see a government speech police That, that that would be a terrible outcome. Um, I've laid out three possible remedies, though, because number one, and you and I just talked about a minute ago, Mm. is big tech has this special immunity from liability, Section 230, that nobody else gets. It was a gift. Uh, It's essentially a subsidy that Congress has given big tech. They don't have any entitlement to that subsidy. They shouldn't be immune from liability, particularly if they're going to engage in in blatant censorship. So that's number one. Number two is the antitrust laws, and, and the antitrust laws have been on the books for, for decades, and, and if you look at the big tech giants, you look at Google, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they have power, they, they, they have a market cap that, that, that by any measure they're bigger and more powerful than Standard Oil was when it was broken up under the antitrust mm-hmm. laws. They're bigger and more powerful than AT&T was right. when it was broken up under the antitrust laws. And, we have and about a been, minute left, not to rush you, but... <laughs> well, you can't abuse monopoly power, right. and, and that's existing law. And then third is, is consumer fraud and deception. Their basic promise is that... that if you follow someone, you'll see what they say. If, if they follow you, they'll see what you say. They're breaking that promise. They're deceiving consumers 
And, it, and if you lie to consumers, you can be held liable for that, that, that fraud. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be watching the story as it evolves. And I know you've spoken out um, uh, quite vociferously about this, and we appreciate that. Senator Ted Cruz, make sure to get his new book. Congratulations, Senator. One vote away, how a single Supreme Court seat can change history. It's a bestseller. And uh, I, I couldn't be more apropos than uh, right now. Senator Ted Cruz, appreciate it. Godspeed, my friend. Thank you for your time today.